Welcome to Mega March 2017. For our first video, we're going to be looking at Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2 on the NES. Now, the first one I consider to be the granddaddy of them all, and the second one, well, that's a much younger, more handsome, better looking son that kind of really paved the way for the series to flourish the way that it did. So let's dive right in. What could be said about Mega Man that hasn't already been said? The game was a hit with critics, but unfortunately it sold poorly in North America. Now a big reason for that, according to Inafune, the creator of Mega Man, was that the box art was terribly ugly. And I cannot disagree, it's pretty ugly. The first Mega Man is credited for being the first non-linear game on the NES, or one of the first. What this did was it opened up the possibilities for future installments in the series, as well as future possibilities for other games in other genres. The player's ability to choose what Robot Master to beat first really made it essential in order to beat the game. Once you got down a pattern and a weapon upgrade, and you realized how easy it was to beat the boss, well, the game became a little bit easier. Now you're probably thinking, He's using the word easy a little loosely here, and I think I am because Mega Man 1 is considered to be one of the harder games in the series. Now, since Mega Man 1 was regarded as very difficult, it did not help that it didn't have a save feature. Hard as it was though, you still knew what you were getting with Mega Man, and really, it came down to repetition and determination. It wasn't as frustrating as, say, the original TNMT on the NES. Mega Man 1 introduced us to the Blue Bomber and his Robot Master foes. Now. Weapon upgrades, special items, in this case it was just one, the Magnet Beam, and awesome Wily Stage bosses really made this an incredible game. Speaking of awesome bosses, Mega Man gave us one of the most recognizable bosses of all time, the Yellow Devil. Subsequent games in the series would continue to use a non-linear format, weapons upgrades, special items, Wily stages, the boss gauntlets, and of course the last epic battle with Wily, but they did it much better. Arguably one of the biggest jumps in quality in regards to level design, mechanics, and gameplay happened between Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 was a much improved game. It did everything its predecessor did, but it did it better. Let's start with the intro itself. Now, it still gives me chills to this day. The music for the Mega Man 2 intro can really only be rivaled by one other song, really on any soundtrack, and that's the intro to Mega Man 3, but that's a topic for another video. From the get-go on Mega Man 2, players can breathe a sigh of relief, because there is actually a choice between normal difficulty and difficult, which people usually play on normal, especially if you're starting out, that's what I would suggest. Purists will only play Rockman 2 because it only has uh, the difficult difficulty. But honestly speaking, Mega Man 2 is probably considered the easiest game on the NES. And that's not really a complaint because it is one of my favorite games of all time. In Mega Man 2, instead of just 6 Robot Masters, you actually have 8 to choose from. And you also pick up an extra 3 items after defeating certain bosses. Now, there's also a new neat item called the E-Tank which helps you refill your life whenever you're running kind of low. Now what this means is that with Mega Man 2, if you're safe with your lives, you can actually beat the entire game without hitting continue once, unless you get stuck on the fourth boss, uh, which is Wily Stage 4, cause he is a right punk. Like I stated before, I do believe that Mega Man 2 upends Mega Man 1 as a better game. The better gameplay, the better mechanics, the better level design really helped turn this into the series that it is now. But what we can't forget is that without Mega Man 1 and the awesome game that it truly was, 
there really wouldn't be any others. A lot can be said about the music, characters, levels, bosses, really the overall enjoyment on these two games. We will go over these topics in greater detail in future videos during Mega March 2017. We'll see you then.